Free BSD reviews, tutorials and gaming. I don't normally use VirtualBox, I prefer installing OS's on uh, real hardware. But in this case, I had to resort to using VirtualBox because I had a bug in FreeBSD 11.2 which meant that once the NVIDIA module was loaded into it, the computer would reset almost instantly, not even any time to analyse what the error message was. From reading the forums and interacting with some of my subscribers, that it recommended that I recompile the Exorg and uh, Mesa and NVIDIA libraries and binaries, recompile them using 11.2 and that actually worked. So I will do a full review of 11.2 on my regular PC in a bit. But for the moment, this quick overview of 11.2 is on VirtualBox and I will just highlight the, the more notable improvements. And bear in mind, it's only a point release, so there's no major changes and that will be reflected in what I show you on screen. So what's new in FreeBSD 11.2? First off, the first thing that jumps out to me is Clang and LLVM uh, have been upgraded, both to now version 6.0. Also, OpenSSH has been upgraded to version 7.5p1 or patch 1. And OpenSSL is at version 1.0.20. Also, the lib archive library has been updated to version 3.3.2. The NTP tools have been updated to 4.2.8 patch 11 and the following drivers are deprecated and due to be removed in FreeBSD 12. KDE and GNOME and so for users of those I'll be glad to know that they've been updated to 4.14.3 for KDE and 3.18 for GNOME. Because there are many library updates, driver updates and bug fixes in this release, as you would expect. Some of which are an open SSH denial of service vulnerability, a WPA2 protocol vulnerability was also fixed. Uh, there was fixes for a kernel data leak in the ptrace, fixes for KLD stat, open SSL, IPSEC and a fix for NTP. Also implemented as a fix was the long-awaited speculative execution vulnerability. Because FreeBSD doesn't really come with a lot of bundle software, you just get the, the base install and then you add what you need on top. I'm not going to go for every single edition, say for instance if it was either, if it was a Linux distro that was updated and everything came with it, then I would go, you know, it would be understandable to go for every single thing. There are some user land application changes which are noticeable which are notable, but because you install what you need, it's hard to say which ones will be relevant to you. But there are some ones like um, updates to CronTab, Disk Info, Top, U-Mount, CPU Control, Cam Control, and DH Client, plus many more that have actually been updated. So if you go along to the release notes on freebsd.org, they'll have a more in-depth breakdown of what's been updated and fixed. That's all really from this quick overview. There's not much more to go into detail. I'll do a proper review uh, once I get everything up and going in a few weeks. Uh, I'll make a backup of all the information that I need from the home folder and the Etsy folder. And once that's done, I'll install the new system and I'll give a, a more complete rundown. Uh, how it feels, memory usage, uh, disk input, output, all the usual things. But this quick overview was just really to give you a, an idea of the major changes. And like I say, because it was a point release, there wasn't that much to report. Anyway, thanks for watching, and catch you next time.